It's the opening round of the NFL playoffs. And EA Sports it continues its coverage. It was a frequent sight in the 80s and 90s, and it's continued weekend. on till today. Playoffs in the 49ers. And it comes your way as we welcome you to Levi Stadium football. in Santa Clara. Today, it's the second of three games here on Wild Card Sunday, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the San Francisco. The second of three games here on this Sunday. We continue with Super Wild Card Weekend here on EA Sports. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021. It's Trey Lance. And he comes into these playoffs bringing a team that's been battle-tested, won the division, and earned the home playoff game here in round one. But every year they know that a division champ that feels like gets beat. They don't want to be that team. They have to avoid the overconfidence and make sure they play the same way they played during the regular season, mistake-free and with passion. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play out. Excellent work there by Lance as he scrambles for the first down. Now Lance. That's to Mitchell out of the backfield. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. On play action, Lance. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And Lance now to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now second and three. To throw, it's Lance. Incomplete. Nice play on the football, and while it was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground, you just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. So here are the Falcons now as they get set for their opening possession. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. Let's face it, it doesn't matter if you're a rookie free agent or a 15-year vet. Guiding a team to victory on the road in the playoffs, that's no small feat. And it's going to be really important for him to play mistake-free football. But equally important, create some big plays as well to give his team confidence that they can win. Five yards, now it's third and five. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he powers through the first lane, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Ritter with it after the play fake. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. Going play action. Ritter throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Ritter off the play fake. And that one too wide and incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. And he's going to go down here and sack. They push him back to the 34. Kuhn knocks this one through the post. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. Aku just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And you know, Charles, it's been a terrific season for them. They couldn't quite get that number one seed in the associated bye that goes with it. But 
But nevertheless, they've got to be one of the favorites here to win it all. They do because of the season that they've had, the position that they're in. And we know under the old playoff system, they would have this game off. This weekend would not be one that they would play. But nevertheless, maybe it's a good thing. Sometimes you carry that momentum from the season all the way through the playoffs. If you get that open week, sometimes you lose it a little bit. So I think that's what's going to be their mindset. And he's able to skip away from that first defender on his way to a pickup of five. On second down, here's Lance. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Here's Lance to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mitchell. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Lance looking to throw it. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Throwing now is Lance. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. And the pressure gets to him again. Arnold Ebikati in there for the sack on what will be the final play of this first quarter. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. On first down, Ritter. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Ritter. Throw left side, complete. That's Robinson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Ritter to throw it. Open man, Hamler, that's complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. On play action, here's Ritter. Pass caught, it's Davis on the crossing route. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Back to throw, Ritter. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Second down and a run by Robinson. And a few little style points on the juke, but not much room to maneuver after that. Robinson again, but he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. He's going to be stopped shy of the end zone. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 
And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Davis Price on first and ten. What a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. First down, here's Mitchell. And he's going to get this inside the 30. On first and ten, here's Lance. Quick hitter here, it's complete. From the 23, this is second and three. Now Lance going to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here's Lance. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. And his kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. So first and ten now from the 30. Back to Robinson now on first down. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And that's caught inside the 30. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 48 yards. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirect. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Again, it's Lance. Being chased out left. And fights, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Now Lance. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. And he takes it down to the ten-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. From 10 yards out. And the 49ers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Jake Moody now for the point after. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 to now. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Back to the air on second down. Here's Ritter again. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Robinson will try to pick it up. 
And this will be a Falcons first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Well, look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering... How are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. On second down, another shot for Robinson. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Third and short, Ritter able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Falcons! K.J. Hamler, 35 yards. And the Falcons are an extra point away from drawing level. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out execute their game plan and keep moving line of scrimmage the 36 on second and eight able to shake him off and a big loss here as he's taken down now after the sack Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long now throwing on third down there but he cannot connect here comes the 49ers punter now and surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Taken from just outside the 30. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And it will be Falcon football. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now a second and 10. Robinson up the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Lance now on first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Now a pass hauled in downfield. Touchdown, 49ers! A big play there, 61 yards. And the 49ers have moved down in front. Extra point try now for Moody. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, 
that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On third down, Robinson. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Again, it's Robinson. He's got it to the 43 here. Oftentimes, we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Winner has it knocked down. Ball in one of the linemen up. Does the big boy have the juice? And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Call it a gain of six on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Looking to throw it here. Ritter in trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The Falcons send out their punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Throwing on first down is Lance. A short throw here to Lantu. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Back now here in Santa Clara. From the 43, here's second down and five. And Lance now to throw. This one caught by Kittle. A big play there for the Niners. 42 yards. Movement there on the offensive line. A little quick and a five-yard penalty. Boy, they had it at the one. The false start moves it to the six now for first and goal. On the move to his left. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Lance now on third and goal. Eluding the pressure right. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Lance and company going on fourth down. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco from a yard out and the 49ers continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead now Moody for the PAT and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points and they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25 the Atlanta offense out there for their next drive and they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten. A Ritter's throw taken in by London. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. Ritter from the gun. That's out wide here for Robinson. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Ritter back to throw. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Ritter and London team up there. First down, Atlanta. Ritter. Caught out left side by Robinson. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. Ritter will set up to throw it. Short throw caught by Pitts. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now we've got a third and three. Here's Ritter. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Another throw coming up here for Ritter. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw going to be caught by Davis. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Second and 10. Ritter to throw it. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, giving him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. On first down, they go back to Mitchell. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big gain all for naught for the offense. That yellow flag is going to bring it back. Oh, what a tough look for the offense because they see all that yardage lost and that ball's walked back and then some behind the original line of scrimmage. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and three. Second down, and again, it's Davis Price. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. The Niners on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and four. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Back to throw, Ritter. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Ritter now. And that is caught. It's Davis. And now they're in the hurry up. Third and short, Ritter. He's got his target. That's complete. To the air again, it's Ritter. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Second and 10 now, it's Ritter. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Fourth down, big play. Here's Ritter. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. 
And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Getting into the playoffs is one thing. Now they get to move on just eight teams left. The dream stays alive. Everyone's gunning for the Super Bowl. That's the ultimate. But you have to get there in incremental steps. One win today gets them one step closer.